Hi, this is Lisa Dunn with Remax Results and the Change Agents Group. What do you do when it's time to downsize and you don't have enough personal property to justify an entire estate sale? We've got some answers to your questions. Stay tuned. We'll be talking with a company called Estate Smart, located here in the Twin Cities area, and they've got some answers for your questions. So I am here with Lisa from Estate Smart. Very excited to have you here. And can you just tell us a little bit about who you are and what Estate Smart does? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me. You're going to hear the saying go, sorry, you don't have enough stuff to warrant a downsizing or estate sale or estate sales are not allowed on the premises. We'd be happy to clear the home, but it's gonna run $2,500 at your expense. So it's really frustrating reality for our downsizing seniors. Many fall into a category where they do not have enough stuff to warrant a sale, or they're in a community where sales are not allowed. They then find themselves paying to have their personal possessions removed. At Estate Smart, our priority lies in giving our parents and grandparents the opportunity to sell their possessions. There is almost always value in used personal property. By putting a new twist on the traditional estate sale, our seniors are able to sell the items they work so hard to accumulate simply by reducing time and labor and combining live sales with online auctions, we are able to accommodate seniors with small to moderate estates. Estate Smart providing our clients with a check rather than an invoice. Oh my gosh, Lisa, you said so much. So I'm going to back up and ask you a few questions about some of the things that you do. So you started by saying one of the frustrations that seniors have is they often don't have enough stuff for an estate sale, but they've got some things that are valuable. So tell me what your process looks like when well, an estate sale, we have no setup fees. We don't have a minimum. We can do a couple items. What we like to do is come into the client's home, auction off the bigger furniture items, and if they have a lot of small items, we group that together, and then we open up the home to an estate sale. And it's a smart sale. We don't have that two to three thousand dollars setup fee that normally tra uh, the traditional state sales charge so you do either an online auction or something that looks like a traditional estate sale or both depending on what depending kind of upon the need of the senior okay wow so what happens with an online auction? If somebody called Estate Smart and said, I have some things that I need to get sold, what would that process look like for them? It's a very simple process. Our team comes out, meets with the client. We go over the items that they need for us to sell. We photograph, inventory the items, and then we put it on our, our auction platform website. And that item stays up there for about seven days. Our bidders look at it, they place their bids, and then we have a predetermined setup time, or pickup time, I should say, for the buyers of that item to meet us at our client's house. The client can be there or their client does not have to be there. It's totally their choice. And we take the payment from the buyer, escort them into the house, they grab the item, and we escort them out. And this process was, was dreamed up, I should say, or configured for seniors in secured buildings where they do not allow estate sales or anything like that because they want to keep their seniors safe. And sometimes it doesn't even have to be a secured building. It could just be a homeowners association that doesn't allow garage sales or estate sales, so it might even be at a townhome. Exactly. 